G'day, this is Marcus from Little Bird Electronics, and today we're going to have a look to see what's inside the electronic brick. So let's open them up. First thing you'll notice is it comes in this you know, really great, handy uh, this component case. Solid. And the first thing I'll show you is the actual shield. And this is a shield that goes on top of the Arduino USB and it has a series of connectors on it that uh, allow various sensors and actuators within the uh, brick to be connected to it. So it's just a really nice and simple way to connect sensors to an Arduino without having to do any soldering. It's actually very similar to the whole idea of fidgets, if you ever used those in the past. So, all the little uh, sensors come out, come on a single board, which actually have to break apart. We won't be breaking these tonight, but we'll go through each one. So there's a buzzer, a uh, couple of RGB LEDs, a what looks to be a thermistor, so a temperature sensor, a light dependent resistor, so you can use that to work out how much light is in a room or uh, a little screw knob here, a rotary encoder, and I have no idea what that is, and a power jack by the looks of it. Let's see what else we have in here. A whole series of leads, so that's what makes connecting all of this really easy. Uh, a lead, I guess that's just for the uh, LCD. And uh, yeah, here's the LCD. And you just plug one end of the lead into this guy and the other end to this guy, and away you go. And the good thing about the Arduino brick is that all the code has been written for you, and there's links to that on the product page. So that's the Arduino brick for you guys. As always, you can contact us on the bottom right hand corner using Wipro. That's the little chat dialog thing we have on our website, or you can call us on the 1300 number. It's up on the top right hand corner of this page. Anyway guys, I'll see you later. Bye.